All five of these games, they feel that they can put Boston away, but you've got to go start to finish, and they know a lot about this with the Indiana, uh, in Indianapolis 500. By the Celtics, who set up in a half court. Uh, Reggie came here about three hours before the ball game was to start. Did a lot of extra shooting, and we'll find him. He'll give it to O'Neal. Here's Pierce outside. He's doubled on the wing. 11 to shoot. Delk, cross court skip pass. McCarty, another three. Walter. Indiana defense. Tinsley turns him outside. Pierce operated. This is what you can't let Pierce do start moving. You've got to be able to stay in front of him because he's such an unorthodox player. He'll make some. You hear so much about defense and that they have to defend. Well, good defense means that you're making teams take shots they don't want to take. If they're taking shots they feel comfortable with. On the, the screen, the push by Tinsley on the pull down of McCarty before he gets in the act of shooting. Uh, the Celtics are going. Nice screen. And then O'Neal will pop out for the jumper. Deflected free. There's a second opportunity. Harrington giving to Mercer, cutting to the glass, but he juggled it. Delk the other way has numbers two on one from Walker. Laid it up and in. Nice play. And if they let him get a little ahead of steam coming up, he's able to change direction. Let's see how well he does if he has to defend. Nice play, Boston. Championship team of 81, the Boston Celtics, and the other, the 97 Miami Heat team that came back to win over New York. And Hardaway was a member of that team. Three second violation. Delk adds to his total. Just recovered it, but missed it. Petit with the rebound. That's an Arkes like effort, though. He's the only guy that can miss his own shot and still get it up. Oh, oh Walker with a transition three point shot. Knocks it. O'Neal misses that opportunity. Boston on the run. Boston on the glass. Their 16th recovery of the game. They've been outboarded only by five. McCarty doubled out to Delk. Open Jay. Six for six. They call him Tony Buckets. Tony Delk. He was the soccer in rhythm in transition. Same kind of play right here. Look at McCarty, draw people to him, and Tony Delk will just step into a wide open opportunity. And the, the Nets. Third, one for 10 from the field over his last two ball games. Now, one thing that has to stop for Indiana is the movement of the ball. It's moving too easy. The result. The Celtics by a deuce. Batie on a dribble weave. Delk, he's going on a fly for three. Why not? Tony Batie has been on. And on Walker. Now, this is big time range from Delk, a couple of feet behind the line. And this is when you know you got that happy feeling. Look at that center. Boy, I tell you, no mistaking that. Come up with big plays for Boston here in the second half to keep them on the lead. He is hitting nothing but the center of the net, and that is a good story for Paul Pierce, who has been all around the edges and found a lot of. Plenty of time for the Pacers. 5-18 left in this game. Down three. They set up defensively. Pierce again from long range. Got it. Pierce just inside the three-point perimeter. Pierce turns. And he had to look. Boston can't track him down. Three seconds left. Two, one. Game over here in Indiana. The Pacers.